So if you're not in the cryptoverse right now, this could be the perfect time to buy in. Now, personally, I've been involved with cryptocurrency for the last seven or eight years. I've used dozens of different apps, and I'm going to be recommending three I think you guys should check out. Of course, right after this, I'm also going to recommend seven coins to get into during this crash. And if you want to check out any of these apps, I'll throw some bonus and resource links in the description. All right, so I'm going to start things off with Uphold. Now, what's interesting about Uphold is they've come a long way right? Um, they've got over 100 plus coins you could buy, sell, and trade on here. They've got staking rewards. Basically what that is, is you get you know passive income just for buying certain coins on here, which is really cool. And they've also got stock trading. But as far as you know, their app, super user-friendly, easy to use. And yeah, I mean, uh, they've come a long way. Okay, next up, we've got Binance US. Now this is for more technical trading. So if you're somebody who wants to trade on like a daily almost a daily basis. They've got, you know, very nice graphs where you could pull up, you know, the volume very quickly. The fees are also really low on here. They've got right around like 70 or 80 coins currently. Uh, all of these apps, especially any crypto app, they're always adding more coins. So it's pretty normal to see that. And then uh, last up, we've got Coinbase. I'm kind of just throwing them on this list because I feel like they're the most known, you know, cryptocurrency app and exchange. I've got some long-term holds on here. You can see I've got around like 50,000, so a little bit more. Um, yeah, now I want to get into some coins, like I said, I'd recommend getting into during this crash that I think have a lot of upside. Uh, I also need to point out none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion, but I own all the coins I'm going to be going over. I also wanted to say if you are looking for some great crypto exchanges, we'll have some uh, resource links in the description. Definitely recommend checking that out. Okay, let's start things off with Engine Coin. Now, Engine, I've actually stacked a little bit of this since it's dropped in price. I've been saying for quite a while this is a really good buy under, you know, two dollars, even three bucks, as long as you have a really long term mindset with Engine. Now, Engine is attached to the metaverse, they're kind of a leader in the NFT space, they've got strong partnerships. Eventually, this coin is going to get back over a dollar, and when it does, you know, I anticipate at some point this is going to be a 10 billion plus market cap cryptocurrency. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there, but it is a top 100 coin and it's been steady. It's been steady holding its ground. So definitely recommend, you know, looking into it. Another coin that's not on a lot of people's radar, which I really like, is Sushi Swap. Now, there's a couple of reasons I like this coin. You know, if you look at the last year on this, it's dropped quite a bit in price which is frustra frustrating. However, it's running off the same code as Uniswap. Uh, these decentralized exchanges, uh, especially the coins, are continuing to grow in popularity. They're just alternatives to centralized exchanges like you know, Coinbase or Binance. There's more coins available. The fees are lower. So a lot of people like using them. I think SushiSwap is super undervalued. And you know, I think it's got a long way to go up. And uh, you can get a really good return on this one as long as you're holding on to it you know, for, for the long term. Okay, let's get into the next one here, which is going to be the Crypto.com coin, CRO, Kronos, whatever you want to call it. Now, what's interesting is I saw in the news Matt Damon's kind of getting some flack for promoting uh, Crypto.com and, you know, that commercial or commercials. I don't know if he's done one or two, but, you know, I really like this coin because I feel like Crypto.com, you know, it is the fastest growing crypto exchange in the world. It's probably slowed down a little bit with crypto crashing, but, you know, they're almost like a bank. You know, uh, if we look at where the Binance coin's gone, you know, Binance's coin, I'm anticipating CRO to, you know, easily get over a dollar at some point. This could be a hundred billion plus market cap crypto. Honestly, if that sounds far-fetched to you guys, um, it's really not. Uh, so I would look at it, really anything under 50 cents on CRO is a good buy. Plus you can stake it on certain exchanges. Okay, next up we've got the basic attention token, aka the back coin. Now this one's taken a hit as well. I mean, you can see all the coins I'm going over are down about 50%, which is frustrating. However, uh, you know, I think all of these have long-term potential, right? And that's what we're looking at here. And the basic attention coin, um, it is an advertising coin. It's been around since 2017. It's connected with the Brave browser. The use case for this coin is really good. And that's why I think it's a good long-term hold. You know, I think this will get back over a dollar at some point. Um, so really <clears throat> looking at the price on it, it's kind of a steal. Plus this coin's available for staking as well on certain exchanges. Okay, <clears throat> let's get into the next one here, which is going to be my good old friend X. R pay. Okay, so XRP is my biggest crypto holding, still sitting on around 200k plus coins. 
spread out. Um, but, you know, XRP, you know, what else can you say? This is a coin that's going to be kind of in limbo probably till the end of the year. That's when the you know, hopefully things are going to wrap up with the SEC. Uh, you know, realistically, um, I think out of all the coins I've gone over, this is one of the safest to get into because I think that, you know, realistically, it's going to go back up to a dollar uh, at the minimum. So, you know, you could basically get a hundred X return a little bit more than that. Just buying into this right now and holding on to it, you know, r- realistically, just to the end of the year, I am anticipating bigger things for XRP long term, but looking at it right now, it's back under 50 cents when I get some of it. Okay. Next up, we've got Decentraland. You know, uh, this coin is leading the metaverse coins. It's taken a, a big hit. I think it got up to close to six bucks at one point over the last 12 months. Now we're back to around a dollar. Now I bought in around 70 cents on this, so I'm actually still up on it. What's interesting too, if you take a look at the chart, the one year chart on this, um, even though it's kind of gone up and down quite a bit, it's, um, actually I think still up. I think CRO is still up as well. Uh, or Kronos, uh, those are the only two on this that are actually still up for the, the 12 month. Uh, but yeah, I, Decentraland, they're partnered with Atari. They got some big things in the works. They are the future guys. So take a look at it. Um, last coin I'm going to get into here, you know, hate it or love it, Bitcoin Cash. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of buying Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin Cash it's been around long enough. They've got decent partnerships. You know, PayPal picked them up. It's got Bitcoin's name in it, and it's in the top 30. Um, you know, it's a coin that has yet to hit its all-time highs from a few years ago of around $4,000. You know, honestly, guys, I don't care if you like Bitcoin Cash or hate it. I think you could probably get a really good return on it. You know, um, you, I think you could definitely get back up to $1,000 per coin at some point. So, um, you know, if you don't like Bitcoin, check out Bitcoin Cash. It is an alternative to it. It's a fork. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these list of cryptos. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you on the next crypto video.